Welcome to the second part in our Microsoft PowerPoint co-authoring series. If you haven't seen the first part, hit the link in the top right hand corner now. As you can imagine, saving becomes really important when there's more than one person working on the slide deck at the same time. So in this next session, we'll talk about that in some more detail. OK, so back logged in on my Mac as Megan. I just want to talk about saving. PowerPoint for Mac has an autosave feature, which you can see in the top ribbon here. It's on by default when the files are saved in OneDrive and SharePoint, and you can switch it off with the toggle here if you want to. Every change you make can be viewed by any other co-authors you're working with. Over here on the right-hand side, you've got this version history button, and if you drop that down, you'll see the version history of all the saves that have been made by all the different co-authors. And you can also open previous versions as well. So if you want to roll back some changes and go to an old version, you can do that from here. If we switch to the Windows machine, we've got the same button here and the same options. And to restore an old version, you just hit the open version link. That will open the older version to the side of the existing one and you can choose to restore the previous version if you want to replace the existing version. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll take a look at using the comments and chat features.